All right, so this is going to be a reading for the sign of Libra. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the Most High, you are welcome into this reading for the sign of Libra. We're going to be taking five single jumping cards. This is going to be for the first half of May for the zodiac sign of Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Also check your other placements um, for additional information if this reading doesn't resonate with you. So first card out, we have Broken Bridge. Unsuccessful outcome to a problem. The moon changes in your life. The fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Thank you guys for all your likes, your shares, your comments. I appreciate you guys oh so much. Um, also, be sure to hit the notification bell if you are subscribed <clears throat> so you can be notified when I upload future readings for you guys. All right, so let's see. What else for Libra? So the month of August could be dealing with a Leo. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with a Leo or Virgo or no, Leo. Um, yeah. Leo, Virgo, Moon. Um, the Carrot, Opportunity or Windfall. I think I'm going to get one more for you guys. One more for Libra. So there may be something that you need to be resourceful in. You could have sneaky people around you with this box energy. The month of the month of September, August, September. So again, Virgo, Libra energy. All right. I'm going to leave it there. Bottom of the deck, you have the grapes. Time to go out and have fun. All right. So let's see what's going on here for you, Libra. For the first half of May... Why is the broken bridge here? Unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Keep in mind, this could be you. This could be someone around you, someone in your energy. Okay, broken bridge. Two of swords can talk about some type of indecision or a hard decision to make. Wow, five of wands. <clears throat> so there could be some conflict, competition, competing, drama, um, some type of fights or arguments. This could even be feeling internally conflicted, not knowing which choice or which decision to make. Um, that you know, two of swords can also be you know ignoring making a choice or a decision because it is a hard decision, or maybe you feel like you don't have all the facts to a situation, so therefore you're not making a choice or a decision. There could also be divided loyalty or someone who's just not seeing something clearly here, feeling conflicted. A okay, broken bridge. Why is the broken bridge here for Libra? Why is the broken bridge here for Libra? <clears throat> page of Cups in the reverse. So Page of Cups in the reverse can talk about broken dreams. Um, this could have to do with something pertaining, uh, you know, Page of Cups in the reverse could talk about childhood issues as well. With the Five of Wands, I don't know if this has to do with any type of abuse, maybe as a child for you. Okay, Seven of Wands. So there's a need to stand up and defend yourself over something here or, you know, protect your energy. I feel like there could be some a message here of bad news. I don't know if it's pertaining to children or your childhood or just a message that, you know, is unwarranted. Causes some type of drama, conflict, uh, this indecision type of energy where you feel like you need to put up your guards or stand your ground. Put up your defenses, protect yourself, protect your corner, okay? Some of you guys may have also, I don't know if you dealt with any, I hate even talking about this, but like childhood abuse, sexual abuse as a child, where you felt like you weren't, <clears throat> you know, you needed to protect yourself or maybe, you know. Some of you could even be trying to protect a child energy, um, but there could be some bad news here that causes some type of conflict. Ace of Wands coming out. Unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands is a passionate new beginning. It's typically, you know, some type of good news, inspiration, a spark of creativity. <clears throat> Physically starting something new. <clears throat> I don't know what is wrong with my throat chakra. I was fine before I came on this reading. Some of you guys may have a hard time speaking up or saying something. If there's anything, um, if any of you have children, um, 
and you feel intuitively or something that you need to protect them or maybe even ask them because someone here may be having a hard time like saying something someone may be uh, if you guys catch my drift all right one more the wheel of fortune so there will be a positive change something will turn something here is faded okay with the wheel of fortune coming out aquarius leo scorpio taurus there is there there's some conflict surrounding some type of indecision or um maybe feeling like you're blindsided or you don't have all the facts about something or something is just a difficult decision not knowing which choice to make something may not be what you wanted something you know could cause you to feel defensive or you may need to defend yourself but there will be a positive change after something you know with this broken bridge after some type of after something unsuccessful you know after some type of bridge is broken metaphorically speaking there will be positive change <coughs> that was gross All right, so let's see, why is this moon here? Changes in your life. Four of Pentacles. Changes in Libra's life. Why is this here? <clears throat> the moon. Okay, so Four of Pentacles. Chariot in the reverse. Cancerian energy. There's some type of delays here. Lacking direction. Someone may be lacking self-control, pow feeling powerless. There could be some type of aggression as well. Holding on. This could be someone holding on to you or trying to hold you back from moving forward or moving on. Oh my goodness. Libra. What is going on with my Libras? Why is the moon here? Changes in your life. There is going to be positive change. Okay, but there is definitely either someone holding on to you or someone trying to hold you back, trying to, trying to delay your forward movement. <clears throat> this could even be you holding on to something that's delaying your own forward movement. Queen of Wands, okay, and the Five of Wands again. So I don't know if there's an Aries Leo Sag or someone here who's starting some type of drama or creating some type of conflict or someone who may be putting you in competition. The Queen of Wands can also be known as the other woman. So I don't know if you feel like you have to compete <clears throat> or someone here is putting you in competition. Someone's holding on to you, holding on to your energy, trying to delay you. Ace of Swords. You're going to get the truth about a situation. This may, you know, there may be some changes that are needing to be made here. But with the chariot in the reverse, something may be delayed. Or being held back for a reason. Being. You got two aces out here as well. So there's conflict surrounding whatever this new beginning is. There will be a breakthrough, though. Why is the fox here? Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Six of Swords. So there may be a need to move, you know, move away from a situation. If there's the Six of Swords comes after the Five of Swords. So if there's any fighting, arguments, jealousy, one-upping, bullying, intimidation, move away from this, okay? Don't just move away from it. Don't fight nine of swords. This could be this could be causing you a lot of stress. Or if you are literally moving, <clears throat> this may be stressing you out or causing you some type of fear, worry, sleepless nights. Or you may be worried about moving on, moving away from a situation. Um, some of you guys may even be harboring some type of guilt or remorse surrounding, um, you know, moving away. Page of Swords, a lot of air energy here. So a lot of thoughts. This is, you know, you are that air energy. The Page of Swords, I don't know if someone's spying. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone's watching uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone who is financially stable or in a commitment. Or some of you guys need to get more information surrounding business, home, security, stability, 
or there could be delayed news coming in about your finances. There goes the justice card. There you are. So something will be balanced out, but I do feel like there is an imbalance here. It came out sideways or something here just seems unbalanced, unfair, but it is some type of <clears throat> consequences possibly. Why is the page of swords out here for shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business? There may be a need for you to get more information, find out the facts, go looking for something here surrounding, you know, you know, the king of pentacles is a business owner. <clears throat> yeah, and there's a need for you to get more information, either about moving away, but this stresses you out. Or someone else is stressed out because you're moving away, moving on. Why is August here for Libra? Y'all be sure to hit the like button if this reading is resonating or giving you some type of clarity. Uh, Three of Cups, so August. Magician, <clears throat> Virgo, Gemini, Six of Pentacles. So there is going to be some type of news we're celebrating. Something that you've manifested is coming in. It could be coming in in the form of generosity, but it may not happen until the month of August. could be during Virgo season in particular. Okay, with the August and the magician out here judgment so yeah this this could be like a final ruling judgment being called on a situation something coming back around maybe some money that's owed to you okay this is going to be news worth celebrating and something that you've manifested something that you've called in something that you've worked hard for that you've created for yourself right knight of cups yeah a message of good news some type of generosity compassion being shown okay um, there could even be a romantic love offer or a reconciliation here with the three of cups in judgment can talk about a reconciliation the knight of cups if somebody here is coming in could be a virgo or gemini a scorpio is here pisces cancer um but someone may be coming in expressing an apology or expressing their emotions and you've manifested this reconciliation and i feel like someone is coming in to give some type of equal give and take if for some of you guys that may resonate, you know, one or the other. All right. Show me the carrot opportunity or windfall. Why is the carrot here for Libra? Ace of Swords coming out again. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Four of Cups. So something that you, some type of a missed opportunity in the past, I feel like. Um, opportunity or windfall. There could have been a missed opportunity here. I don't know what this two of pentacles is. This may have came, this may have been like some type of financial decision that was made or a missed opportunity, maybe going back and forth, weighing your options. Um, there's going to be a breakthrough. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, taking action to come in and speak some type of truth. Someone may be coming towards you with some type of truth, clarity about a situation, why there was a missed opportunity. Maybe somebody, you know, is juggling or going back and forth. And that doesn't mean have to be the Knight of Wands reversed. Okay, yeah, so that was it. Um, the Knight of Wands in the reverse is someone who's reckless, hyperactive, a daredevil, overly confident or a show-off. Is someone who moves very quickly, very passionately, in and out, flighty, doesn't stay. Okay, strongly could be a fire energy, opportunity or windfall. So I don't know what this is. This is some, you're going to have some type of a breakthrough. When it came to a missed opportunity, maybe you guys are receiving an opportunity or a windfall. Like you're receiving something because of somebody's arrogant, reckless ways. And you're going to receive a breakthrough because of this. Or you're going to get the truth about this. Or you're going to find something out. And that may bring in some type of opportunity or windfall. Then you have September, August, September. So I don't know if this happens during those months or what. Why is September here? For Libra, the moon in the reverse. Yeah, some type of secrets are going to come out. Letting go of fear, stepping into some type of wish fulfillment. Okay, um, some type of secrets are going to come out. It's going to make you almost happy. Like, that's weird. Or this is going to be something that you wanted. Okay, this is going to make you happy. Three of Pentacles. So, I don't know if someone here, you're working with others or Three of Pentacles, Four of Cups.
So there could be some type of a collaboration. Why is this Four of Cups coming out? I don't know if you feel like bored or discontent or you feel rejected when it comes to working together in a team environment. Yeah, three pinnacles now in the reverse. It's like something here. <sighs> something here that was very confusing, kind of left you confused, dazed, disillusioned as to why something wasn't working out, why something was a missed opportunity. I feel like you're going to get the truth about something or you're going to see something clearly. The illusion is going to be shattered. Okay, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. <clears throat> there could be a water sign in the past or a baby's father from the past who could have been non-committal, who was holding back from you or vice versa or whatever. Um, you're going to get the truth about this. Someone may even express their emotions. Why is the King of Cups, Six of Cups here? Three of Swords in the hair font. So... Taurus energy again. There's something here surrounding a third party heartbreak or some type, something that's heartbreaking about a marriage, a contract, a commitment. Why someone was holding back because maybe somebody was in another contract or a commitment. It could have been a third party or this had, I feel like this has to do with something from your past that maybe you had been confused about, but you're going to get clarity on this. There is some type of an opportunity or a windfall coming in. Um, and I don't, it's not really telling me what. This could be like a new spark or some type of inspiration. What is this opportunity about that's coming in for Libra? What is this opportunity about for Libra spirit? What is this opportunity about? The, ooh, 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 the emperor. All right, Libra. Putting a king of wands, knight of wands reverse. Someone who's very attractive, an entrepreneur, a go-getter, but someone who's flighty and reckless. And you're, that's, that, you're, now you're getting an emperor. <laughs> oh shit I'm getting a boss daddy boss mama whatever okay maybe you're getting some type of position of authority take you know some type of stability structure in your life five of pentacles yeah but you got to leave this other situation out in the cold if you want to be happy or have this ten of cups okay so or maybe you got left out in the cold and you're about to be fucking happy you're about to get <laughs> Okay, you're about to get what you've been what you've been waiting on with this hangman, queen of swords, and that's the truth. All right, Libra. So yeah, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Something here, whatever this is that you're dealing with currently, it may not happen the way you think it's going to happen. Or like there, there's some type of conflict over, you know, not knowing something, having rose-colored glasses on, not seeing something clearly. Maybe somebody promised you a bunch of shit and didn't deliver. Maybe someone blocked you, blocked your messages. So, yeah, that could be another thing here. Someone may have you blocked. But you're going to get a brand new cycle. So whatever this is, there's these changes that are happening. Um, I feel like what, what's coming in for you is better than what whatever it is that you're losing, per se. I don't feel like you're really losing anything. It may feel like that at this point. There could be some conflict or drama surrounding others or someone who's holding on to you, trying to block your forward movement. But that's going to change. There is going to be positive change coming in. If you've been worried or stressed out, there's going to be news worth celebrating that comes in. Something that you manifested is coming in. Or something that you've put in the work for is being like being brought around like the angels are calling judgment on something here i do want to see what is this page of swords king of pentacles down here So maybe dealing with your boss or a father figure, someone in a position of authority here. I don't know if you have kids with this person, you're committed to this person, you're married to this person, but there's a need to get more information. You could be stressed out about moving on. You're going to get clarity about who there, there could be a little. Okay. The queen of wands can no, also be known about known as the other woman. We got Leo Aries energy here. 
but this is these two cards came out together and again that's what's down here was this queen of wands and the five of wands so there could be some type of competition you're going to get clarity about this and i feel like this is something that stresses you out because you may need to move on from a situation or you may in order to you know yeah it is swords you're seriously like what's the six of swords Judgment. Yeah, it's like called judgment on this situation. Admitting defeat. Seven of Wands in the reverse. Move on. Admit like something isn't what you thought, maybe, because the Two of Swords is out here. It's like just just come to the understanding that something wasn't what you thought it was. Something that you may have felt stuck, stuck in, trapped in, or stuck in your mind about. Having anxiety, sleepless nights, or feeling powerless in this situation, I feel like you're going to look and you're going to find the information that you need to release yourself. Something that you manifested is going to come in, and it's going to come in in an opportunity or a windfall um, after a time of feeling like five of pentacles, feeling like the world is against you, or feeling like you've lost everything or whatever. There's something better coming in for you. So it's like almost like admit defeat. That's what that means, you know? Like... Accept these changes, the moon. There is changes in your life. There's a broken bridge here, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. So if there's been something that you've been like going, fighting, you know, fighting, trying not to see the truth of a situation, five of wands, two of swords, fighting not to see the truth of a situation because of maybe some type of high hopes or something that you had, just let it go because there's something better trying to be aligned for you. The divine is trying to bring you something better. But you may be trying to hold on to something that isn't, I don't know, I don't want to say this in the wrong way, but isn't worth or isn't yours to hold on to, one of the two. Okay, so let's get a few fortune cookie cards for the sign of Libra for the first half of May. Commitment. A commitment is indicated around business and it will make you feel better. Tough and trying times. Um, tough and trying times ahead. Think long term, make decisions accordingly, avoid negative people at all costs. So yeah, try to avoid any conflict. And then you got, you literally got the change card. Okay. And you had the moon changes in your life. And then you got the change card, a change of residence, partner, career, or job is in the cards. If you are restless in need of a change, that is exactly what is coming your way. So there could be some tough and trying times ahead, Libra, but ultimately it's for the better. Your commitment is indicated around love and business. It'll make you feel better. Yeah, something here is changing for the better, Libra. But <clears throat> it's like kind of trying to hold on to something that's already broken. The bridge is already burned. Something to that nature, okay? So I'm going to leave this reading here. I hope it helped. I hope it resonated. I hope it gave you somewhat of some clarity. If it did, let me know by hitting that like button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.